Coleman and welcome back to Fox 23 News. The PGA Tour is over in Texas this weekend for the 71st Houston Open. And after the first wave today, Lucas Glover was in the lead. He would end up draining the long birdie putt on the 16 and finished his round at 7 under par. So he's sitting at first tied with Kevin Tway. One back after round one was Ricky Fowler. After getting this to fall on 7, Carding a 66 on the day, so good for him too. Jordan Spieth was on the ninth in his final hole today, dropping the green just a few feet away from the cup. Spieth finished out at four under. Phil Mickelson came out on fire. This was his third birdie on the day, just three holes, and then drained another on seven. That was five birdies through seven holes. Pretty impressive. And the shot of the day came from Julian Surrey in the bunker on the par three seventh. He drains the very unlikely birdie. Definitely not something you see every day. All right, happy, happy opening day, everyone. Baseball season officially back. And today, say today was a bit crazy in the MLB, would be an understatement. We'll start things off with the Atlanta Braves, which probably wins the award for the most dramatic game of the day. The Braves opening up their season from SunTrust Park, hosting the Phillies. Julio Tehran getting the start, but the Phillies would put him to work early as Reese Hoskins hits a double out to right field. Bringing in Carlos Santana to score, they would take the early 1-0 lead. Later in the sixth inning, same score, Tehran still on the mound, and Cesar Hernandez takes him deep to the Braves' bullpen to put Philly up 2-0. They would add a few more, but come the sixth inning, and Freddie Freeman would get the Braves on board with a home run of his own, and that began the big rally. The Braves tied it all up in the eighth and had the perfect chance here in the ninth with two runners on. Nick Marquez kicks at bat in walk-off city, baby. He launches a three-run home run, and it's game over. The Braves kick off their year with an 8-5 walk-off win. And let's take you through a few other crazy things that happened today, starting out with the Cubs and Marlins taking on the first game of the Diamond. And what a way to start out the season. The very first pitch in Ian Happ drills one to right field, the first pitch of 2018, and the first home run of 2018. The last time this happened was back in 1986 when Dwight Evans was on the Red Sox. The Cubs would win it 8-4. All right, here's another first of the day. Who doesn't love a good home run robbery? Only when it's not happening to your team, of course. The Twins visiting Baltimore. Eddie Rosario sends a rocket to right field, and it looks like it would be gone, but Craig Gentry leaps up to make the first big defensive play of the year, robbing him of that one. And that game would go into extra innings, which brings us to our very first walk-off of the year. Things tied at 2 in the 11th, and Adam Jones blasts one off Fernando Rodney. The Orioles win it 3-2 in Jones, greeted by a very big Gatorade shower and a very big happy team. All right, another memorable home run came from the Astros. George Springer putting his name in the record books today. The World Series MVP took Cole Hamels deep to lead off the game, becoming the first player ever to hit a leadoff home run on consecutive opening days. It's also the first leadoff home run for a defending World Series champ in league history, so pretty cool stuff there. All right, another impressive home run here was the Red Sox visiting Tampa Bay, and Eduardo Nunez connects off the pitch from Chris Archer. The outfielders couldn't track it down, so Nunez being waved around the bases, using that speed to get the inside the park home run, the very first opening day inside the parker since 2010. The Red Sox, though, would blow a 4-0 lead, and the Rays would win 6-4. I don't want to talk about it. And then there was this one. All offseason, we wondered where John Carlos Stanton would end up. He, of course... Landed on the Yankees to join other home run beast Aaron Judge. So stands. today, what better way for Stanton to introduce himself to New York than to hit <laughs> not one, but two home runs against yeah. the Blue Jays. They won it. I'm 6-1. And they're happy to have him. The and I, Bash um, Brothers. It was a hard day for me. It was tough to watch. But <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but how embarrassing for the Rays, though, to get that infield home run. And that was pretty bad. So that was, that's, your that's my win for the day. Okay.